Welcome back to the channel, YouTubians. Pat of Card Scale Dreams. Um, hope everyone's having a good week. Uh, it's Friday. Um, so today I have a, a final, uh, the MT67 Mustang Fastback kit. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I painted this one quite a few years ago. Um, sat in the box for a while. Um, then I brought it back out last year, started working on it, um, updated a few videos on it. Uh, so I did a seat belt, um, how to here. And then I did, I think, what was the other one I did? Oh, the, just recently I did the mirror one. Um, Anyways, there was a couple other videos I did. I can't remember exactly what they were. Um, but anyways, uh, so yeah, I'll show the car here and I'll adjust the camera a little bit and then we'll have a look at it. Okay, so here she is. Uh, it's all duplicolor uh, paints. It's um, forest green duplicolor. Uh, it's been cleared polished uh i didn't i didn't um i just used 3000 and then polished compound and polish and wax blackout hood treatment in the front uh 68 um scoop on it and uh 1970 i got that from a die cast so i put the 70 scoop on there um, so I did forget to paint these, um, and then, so I ran out of the paint, uh, so I just decided to go black, and then I could, because I had the hood black, I, these were a last minute black, and then this was a last minute de decision just to kind of tie in, tie in some of the black accents that I had. I deleted all the all the scripts, all the chrome around it. Um, I even I deleted the the lines that you would have on the front clip. I sanded those all smooth. Um, turned out pretty good. Can't see any ghosting or anything there. Uh, deep in the panel lines, black washed. Uh, so the tires are from the 68 Camaro AMT latest release. Um, you get big and littles in there. And so that's what these are. And then the parts box, Craigers, deeper in the back. Uh, deep dish in the back. Raised up the rear end a little bit. Uh, BMF for the trim and then I cut out the the grill and I put some put some mesh in there so that's model car garage mesh painted it black deleted the chrome trim around the grill area It's got a California plates. Um, yeah, I did that video on pinning the mirrors and then the seat belt videos as well. Uh, it's got a really nice stance to it. I did raise it up in the back a little bit. Uh, I also sucked in these wheels. Um, if you don't adjust the 
the spindles or whatever um, it, these tires do sit way too far out so I got it lowered in the front a little bit and and sucked in those wheels so that it looks a little better um, let's see what else did I do here oh my usual um, my usual exhaust tips aluminum I had a hard time with these lights because uh, the paint buildup wouldn't allow the lights to come right through so they are in there but um, on the outsides for whatever whatever for whatever reason on the outsides of each each uh, tail light they wouldn't fit all the way in so I don't know what happened there but it is what it is I also had um, a glued on the trunk this is the one that comes with the trunk separate then you cut out the inside so I had some issues with the trunk um, when I put it away it ended up on some plastic inside the box and and kind of marred the paint the clear a little bit um, I just sanded it down with 3000 and polished it as best I could but you can see you can see some marring on the back there that's that's the main reason I went with the wing so pretty basic underneath a little bit of weathering um, not too much to too much to talk about down here just some obviously detail painting and whatnot sanded out those wheels or the tires sorry so this front left is poseable I tried to make the other one poseable too but it just for whatever reason it just <laughs> it wouldn't uh, wouldn't work but one wheel turns <laughs> So I, th I like the 68 hood scoop on there. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, pretty basic engine. Just did some minor wiring. So I did the... Did the uh, ignition wiring on heater hoses. That was it there. Not too much to... Not much to to it. 289. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Um, beautiful looking car. I love the 67s. It's got a really nice stance to it. Kind of an old school uh, street machine 70s style. It's kind of right up my alley how I like to build, right? So it's kind of what I, what I went with. Uh, and the first time I used, uh, oh, that was the other video I did was um, installing windows with UV resin, and that turned out really, really good. Like I can, I can, if I get a fingerprint on this window, I can press down on this window without any worries about it popping out. Um, they're in there solid So if you want to check out that video By all means check that out um, Interior turned out pretty nice too Like I said, I got the seat belts in there hard to see obviously But uh Pretty fun build. UV resin on the gauges that you can't see. Those turned out really good. I drilled out the steering wheel. Did some, tried to do some wood grain on that dash. 
and uh, em oh, and I bought embossed. First time I embossed, used embossing um, powder for the carpet. So that was another first on this one. So that was a lot of fun. So yeah, pretty happy with how this one turned out. It's gonna look really good on the shelf. The paint isn't perfect by any means. So I'll show you where I messed up on the back here. So you can see that on the trunk right here. But like I said, I really like this color and I really did, did not want to um, strip the whole thing just because of that uh, that trunk. So like I said, I just put that scoop on there to hide it a little bit. Um, you can really you can notice it if you really look at it, but there's a couple other little nicks I tried to hide with uh, when I did my um, um, black washing when I did my my doors. And I had another little nick right here that I black washed, just to kind of nice when it's a dark color. Um, Kind of drown that out a little bit. Grill turned out pretty good, I think. All right, well, I'll put a couple stills at the end here, and I uh, hope everyone's ha gonna have a great weekend. Like I said, Friday. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Um, prayers for those that need them, and uh, we'll talk to y'all soon. Pat out, model on. Thank you. Thank you very much.